Binance, Binance, Binance was recently sued by the SEC. But according to Binance, you know, Gary Gensler applied to serve as an advisor for Binance in 2019. And that was right before he became the SEC chair. So this is big right here. This is very, very, very big. I don't know about you guys, but personally, you know, if this is true, if Gary Gensler applied to be an advisor for Binance and he was turned down and he's now going after Binance, you know, there is a conflict of interest. There is a conflict of interest. And this is not looking good for Gary Gensler. And it is also not looking good for the SEC. So a lot of questions are going to be asked. And things, you know, should be very interesting. Again, I don't know about you guys, but I think there's a conflict of interest. You know, if Binance turned down Gary Gensler and he's now going after Binance in a very big way, you know, there is a conflict of interest and it doesn't look like, you know, it, it does not look like, you know, this is done out of, you know, the work of protecting the investors. You know, it looks like, you know, this is one of those, you know, this is one of those revenge. Like he is after something else. It is not protecting the investors. So the next, you know, couple months, and it doesn't have to be months. I think there's a lot of questions that are going to be asked. And I don't think the SEC is looking good right now. You know, Gary Gensler and the SEC are definitely not looking good, you know, after this big uh, breaking news. We have, you know, we have <clears throat> some very big breaking news. We have a CZ, you know, potentially heading to court. You know, sometimes, uh, who knows? Uh, the U.S. District Court issues, you know, Simmons for Binance CZ over ACC auction. Uh, but it looks like, you know, from what I read, uh, it looks like, you know, CZ, you know, doesn't have to be there in person. So this could be done, you know, virtually. But this is, again, you know, not looking good uh, for Binance. And the pressure, you know, on the price of Binance coin. I mean, Binance coin is a $50 billion market cap, I believe. Now let's take a look at the market cap of Binance. Uh, BNB. BNB's market cap is $41 billion. So BNB is down, you know, probably $10 billion since this lawsuit and again this is going to continue to put more pressure on the price of binance coin and we will talk about levels we will talk about levels you know binance coin absolutely must hold major australian banks are declining soaring payments to crypto exchanges I think we are going to see more and more and more of this. You know, we are going to see major banks. Uh, we are going to see other institutions, you know, continue to decline crypto payments until, you know, in th you know, until things are more clear. You know, until things are more settled. And this is going to introduce 
a lack of liquidity in this market. So when I talk about that the next you know six months are more likely, you know, are more likely to be volatile, more likely to see negative monthly returns. You know, this is all adding. This is all adding to my prediction. This is all adding to my predictions. Because if there is a lack of liquidity, you know, I don't know where the returns are going to come from. So we have, you know, we have to be patient, and we have to accept, you know, the fact that the next couple months are going to be tough. SEC crackdown on Binance and Coinbase surge DeFi trading volumes 444%. So again, decentralized applications are going to benefit from the SEC going after Binance and Coinbase or from the SEC going after you know centralized exchanges. So there is an opportunity to make money in this market. And those opportunities are in the DeFi sector. So if you look into the DeFi sector, you know, if you look into decentralized exchanges, you are going to see massive opportunities. And that is exactly where the most money is going to be made in this next, you know, couple couple months you know at least until until things are you know settled so this is big for a project like uniswap this is big for any other decentralized application so let me know in the comment section you know your thoughts on all of this you know do you think this is going to introduce you know some type of lack of liquidity uh do you think this is going to introduce you know some type of you know clear regulation uh and do you think this is bullish for the market personally you know i think this is actually you know very bullish in the long term in the short term you are going to see a lot of volatility you know because of this and that's because it is happening in real time. But in the long term, you know, I actually think, you know, regulation is very bullish for the cryptocurrency market. You know, this market was always going to get regulated, was always, always going to be regulated at some point. And that point is right now. You know, this market was always going to be regulated. You know, this is not a market that was going to be special. And it was not going to be regulated. It is going to be regulated just like any other market. And because of that, you know, this is going to introduce trust. And you are going to see, you know, out, out of, you know, these lawsuits, you are going to see, you know, a, an honest market, you know, a market that is regulated. And we are going to see a lot of money. That is going to come into this market. This is the reason why, you know, regardless of what's happening, I continue to be bullish because I, not for a single second, do I think the cryptocurrency market is going anywhere. You know, I think this market is here to stay. You know, this is a trillion dollar market. You know, companies like Coinbase are not going anywhere, they are going to continue to operate. Companies like Binance are not going anywhere. They are going to continue to operate. And because of that, you know, because of clear regulation, you know, we are going to see, you know, more companies come on board and we are going to see, you know, the innovation. Uh, we are actually going to see, you know, what these applications, you know, claim to be. You know, we are going to see that over the next couple of years because of, you know, clear regulations. 